Greetings YouTube, I have just one question to start off this video. How much did people get away with? How much was this alleged theft of resources that Kabam discovered and shut down but is also investigating? Last time we talked about a theft of resources and I'm recording this video knowing that we have a very small window left for the bubble blowout. Uh, it was the Thronebreaker Bundle 1 which was supposed to be, I think, all 20 bundles would give you two six-star shards, or two six-star basic crystals worth of shards. It's like a thousand six-star shards per bundle. The problem is, of course, that in the first 45 minutes or so, there was some kind of glitch in the system that instead of giving a thousand six-star shards, gave 10,000 six-star shards. So for a very small price, you could get, well... 200,000 six-star shards, enough for 26 stars, and by the time they patched it, people had already opened features and pulled Absorbing Man, they pulled Infamous Iron Doom, etc., or maybe they just got really lucky with basics. Even if they didn't get lucky with basics, they probably got somebody good, statistically speaking, and certainly seven-star shards. And Kabam decided against, for multiple reasons, taking away those champions from those accounts. They just said, hey, if you took advantage of it, congratulations, but that loophole has been closed. Well, if you missed it, I did a video on Wednesday night slash Thursday morning, depending on what time of the uh, day you viewed it and what really honestly your uh, time zone is across the world, on the fantastic new rewards of the side quest this month, of which I was able to very fast, though I understand, and we'll be doing a video about this later too, how angry people got with the way that's laid out energy wise, but I did achieve 100% exploration of both threat level four and threat level five. I'm saving threat level one, two, and three for hero use because I think it's gonna be a great event to maximize my literal uh, in-game energy for. Uh, but anyhow, I was able to essentially uh, do a video where the, uh, the main takeaway was that this event for the actual time invested was incredible. But unbeknownst to me, because I was teaching and doing other things, unbeknownst to me, there was this hack that you could rerun rewards even after going through the paths. This was a major red flag to Kabam and also a major concern for them, so much so that they ended up not only ceasing this immediately, but most importantly, they did something truly shocking. They announced that they were going to uh, potentially investigate those that did this. So the question is, how much did they get away with? Well, let's take a look at the forum post that goes a little bit deeper into the issue. And I must say again, I am quite curious what people got away with. So this was the official post when the side quest came out on Wednesday. We are aware of a pressing issue. Now pressing of course means immediate. There's some kind of sense of urgency to it. Where path rewards are repeatable for this month's side quest. This is not intentional and we are working to resolve this ASAP. So keep in mind when Kabam usually discovers this, that's because somebody told him, right? So Somebody snitched. This is why we can't have nice things. Now, to be clear, I didn't do this because I didn't even know about it. But uh, I'm sure someone did, and maybe they kept refreshing and refreshing. I don't know. We are turning off the May meta crystals in the crystal vault until we can get this resolved. But was it just May meta crystal shards that they got? Or was it something more? I don't know. Uh, path rewards are basically just the crystal shards in it. But again, my question is, how much did they get away with? Was it a couple thousand? Because, you know, let's be honest, if that's the case, you're, oh no, you got a free three star or a four star. Wow, that's crazy. This isn't nearly as big of a deal as what they let go, which was the throne breaker uh, spring cleaning issue, which to be clear, just like I said in that video originally, I wasn't advocating for those players that took advantage of something Kabam made a mistake about for those players to have their shards or champions taken away. I was advocating for all Thronebreaker players to get the same opportunity that those 
first 45 minutes worth of players did. But Kabam apparently thought that'd be breaking the economy of the game or setting a bad president or something that would cost them money. But uh, my solution to this is the exact same suggestion. It's let's say let's just say hypothetically 10,000 more side quest crystal shards were acquired thanks to this bug. Well, just give everybody 10,000 side quest crystal shards in their compensation inbox and call it a day. Will they do it? Probably not, but that's how I would run the company. The odds of getting a five star are very slim and a six star are almost impossible. I got my first six star side quest crystal for the first time, I think three months this past week. So I certainly know the odds are against you. Anyhow, YouTube, that is my feedback for this video. How much do people get away with? I don't know. Maybe one of you out there knows the answer better than I do. That's the question. Thanks for watching.